Hello, I'm Captain Andrea. And I'm Commander Matthew. And welcome to Trek Back Tuesday. This is the show that explores time and space to seek out old and new Star Trek merchandise from across the galaxy. Today, from Playmates, their 1995 classic Star Trek movie series line, we have the one and only most important villain of them all. Say it with me. Con! Yeah, we're looking at Con today. Yeah. Did you get that? You yeah, got that part? Yeah, okay, right? Yeah. Sorry, this is the one and only Playmates figure of Ricardo Montalban as Con. It's so cool that we got a Ricardo Montalban figure in Star Trek I form. I know. I feel, uh, it's a shame that he passed because I would love to know his thoughts on having an action figure. He doesn't seem like the kind who'd be all into it. So I really hope he loved it. I mean, he had to have approved it. So, yeah, true. Yeah, it, that, yeah. it is pretty good. Mm-hmm. And to be fair, this actually, it's the only Playmates version of him, but he did have other figures later on. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll talk about that later. Mm-hmm. So we're looking at this figure from the classic Star Trek movie series, and this is basically, it's pretty self-explanatory based on the yeah. title. It's a lot of the major characters from the various Star Trek movies. So the packaging here has that classic Enterprise. It's, it's honestly just a really nice design, like overall, really great looking yeah. package, wonderful illustration on the front, really colorful. Uh, and it's very, very different from a lot of the other figures looked at from Playmates. Front of the box has a really big window display, as we've always seen, though, with all the Playmates Trek figures. One difference here is we're getting a trading card this time around, but it's an oversized trading card. Well, I mean, the other packages, they had trading cards. And yes, it's oversized, but the real difference is it's hiding the accessories. Where in previous packaging, it was behind the accessories. Yeah. You know, we don't get to see all of Khan's, you know, accoutrements. Right, you know, right away. That's definitely a word he would use. I know, right? That's yeah. why I don't know that. The back of the package is also, a, you know, it's a little bit different than, whereas on the back of a lot of the other packaging, they'll call it something like, they'll call it Starfleet gear or something similar. They're calling these the galactic accessories. It's higher up in the placement. They're showing, it's on a different side. Uh, you know, so it's like the background is just different. And what I really like though, is how they display the other figures. You know, they show you not only which, who's who, but they say which movie it's from. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's a really nice selection of characters too, because we're getting mostly Starfleet crew who are from the motion picture. Then we're getting Savik from Star Trek Two, and we've got Kuru from Star Trek Three. we've got Martia from Star Trek V, and we have General Chang and Martia from Star Trek VI. So it's a pretty diverse range of characters in the movies. Yeah, I really like that they, you know, that they touched on all these different things i mean it's a great way to do it you know they don't have to keep remaking all the figures over and over again you get some of the more memorable characters they do have a bio because you know it wouldn't be a playmates packaging without the bio but even that's also different it's really tiny yeah and it's actually not really i mean it, and it's about con but it's also not because it has like guest appearance by Merritt buttrick as david marcus and directed by nicholas meyer so yeah. it's like they're focusing on con, but they're also throwing in random things like that. They're throwing in random movie facts. Yeah. You know, and so it's just, it's not as much fun as the previous ones, I'd say. My real problem is that it's just really ugly looking. It's That's just, it, yeah. Like it's meant to look like that clipboard that they would carry around on the original series ship, but it kind of blends in a lot with the packaging and it's just a really bad rendering of it also. Yeah. Kind of falls flat. Yeah. I mean, they did really well on the other repackaging, you know, the other redesigns, um, but not, yeah, they fell flat on the bio. And it doesn't help that the font is really tiny, too. If you didn't need reading glasses then, you will now. But they don't have glasses in the future. Fine, if you didn't have Jordy's visor then. Mm, yeah. Commander Matthew. Beam Khan out of the packaging and set up a containment field around him. Hi, Captain. The strongest one possible. Khan is on the deck, Captain. Wow, look at how massive his bosom is. That is definitely the Ricardo Montalban chest. That, that is really impressive, actually. <laughs> actually, yeah, I'm just like looking at the, the, looking at him in the camera, and it's just like, dang. Yeah. So this is a really, really, really good figure. It really is. I mean, I have to be honest, the way that his body is built, he looks really short and stout <laughs> compared to some of the other figures. But at the same time, he just looks so good. That's actually something I kind of noticed about this entire movie series is when I've looked at the other characters from it. And more so the male characters like Krug and General Chang is they all do look very stocky and stout. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with that is, but at least they look good. Yeah, they do look really good. Like there's all the details here. They've really actually gotten like every important part of Khan's look into this. Obviously the exposed chest, yes. (laughs) But you've got like all the stuff on his belt, his wrist, his glove, the pants texture. Like they they just went for broke on this one and they nailed it. 
Uh, I particularly like his chaps. He's got nice chaps, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it's just it's cool that they got the lines to show how it's being held on instead of just, like, slapping it on. And that likeness is a knockout likeness. It really is. <laughs> you know, just even from the side, you know it's him. It's a perfect Ricardo Montalban head. They, they totally got it. I'm, I'm impressed how good those heads are in this line. They busted their butts to make sure, because he's Ricardo Montalban. Yeah. And it's just fun to say his name. I like the hair also. Hair is pretty good looking. Simple hair, but it's a little I, messy because it's a little white and gloopy. I like the hair, but I kind of wish they'd used a lighter gray because now it just looks like he's rocking some sort of weird 90s chic. <laughs> you know, and that wasn't the case. Khan was a punk rock superhuman. Well, he kind of was. Yeah. But at the same time... I just like seeing his boots because I feel like we didn't even see that much of him below the yeah. waist in the movie anyway. <laughs> I mean, I really dig the gloves. Yeah. It Just in general, I love the texture of, like, everything here. This is a really, really good figure. Just so much different things going on with this one, mm -hmm. and it looks really good. Color is good, too. Really nice overall. You know, so let's talk articulation. So we have our normal stuff, left to right head, but because his hair is so long, it doesn't really go too far. Yeah. Shoulders, though, up and down, no problems there. He has bendable elbows and bicep swivel. He looks like he's looking at a out of binoculars or something <laughs> probably is mm. waist kind of moves a little bit too but he's blocked due to his tunic god that belt is just out of his out of this world legs are decent articulation he could probably sit more or less if you play with him enough uh, but his legs can't really go much higher than that so he'd be okay. sitting very casually in his chair uh knees bend and that's about it but it's decent articulation it, it is a little bit hindered but i think it gets the job done for overall what you're going to want with it okay yeah you know what looking at him again i just want to say the necklace and the belt and the little satchel or pouch or whatever you want to call it. Goodness, that's just, that is incredible detail work. And those are important details because if they missed those, I mean, yeah, that would have then been just probably a total fail of a figure. Yeah. They're pretty important and critical to his look. These are just, wow. <laughs> you know, I don't even know, really know what to say other than wow. So let's move on to accessories. Why not? We're going to start with his base. This is a really nice base. This is a gorgeous base. <laughs> and while I'm not thrilled that they're using the Starfleet insignia because he wasn't Starfleet per se, I'm going to give this a pass because this is such a nice base. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay. And also, to be fair, he's kind of wearing a Starfleet necklace. That's true. And I think everybody in this movie line has the same exact base as well. Yeah, so that's okay. Cost cutting measure, but it works. Yeah, but it just, it's such a nice stand. What else are his galactic accessories? He comes with the Starfleet phaser. This is the Star Trek II style phaser. Let's see if it fits in one of his hands. Looks like it should fit in his left hand. Uh, it's a little loose there, but he's got it. I like those phasers from Star Trek II. We have the Genesis Torpedo. That's just really cool. I mean, it's super tiny, but I love the detail on that. Yes, there's a lot of very good, very nice little details in this torpedo here. Mm -hmm. There's also the Genesis control box. Again, great detail, particularly in the decals. Yeah, which I should add, actually, we're kind of sliding off it. You can yeah. see right there, it's still sliding <laughs> off. And I moved it. I put it back into position. So, uh, yeah, in terms of aging, well, this one, maybe not so much. So don't be surprised if you're a loose collector and they fall right off. Yeah, but it still looks good. So the other one, and this, this one's a little interesting. The other one is a bowl of SETI eels. You remember these things? The, the ones that crawled inside Terrell and Chekhov's ear? Yep, and made him go, ah! Yep, your favorite. I know, fun time. But we have a small problem with this that we're trying to figure out. So we seem to be missing the SETI eel holder. It's like a long, thin... Thing with a little couple of tongs on it. It's basically what it's eel tongs, I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's eel tongs. And the back of the box gives the impression that it, we're going to get it. If the packaging seems to imply that we're going to get it. We didn't get it. So I don't know if we just got a mispackage because you guys can see the photos of what it looked like when I had it and it was sealed. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be in there. I didn't even yeah. notice that when I got it. So... so either magic happened and it fell into the vortex or we didn't get it. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, hopefully I didn't just open a super duper rare error version of Khan. <laughs> oh, in which case, well, yeah, goodbye value. But uh, that Ooh. really sucks. That's that's really cool, and that really completes the look of Khan too. Yeah, I mean, I I, I was love so excited movie. when I saw that was part of it. Now I'm missing that, so that kind of sucks. I mean, I love this little bowl. I think it's adorable, but yeah, it's kind of a shame not to have, you know, not to have everything. Yeah. So we need to talk about something else. So you might remember our friends at Triple Fiction Productions, who are a sponsor of the Trek Untold podcast, and have sent us plenty of things in the show to talk about in the past. Well, they've got themselves their own accessories from Wrath of Khan. And what could those be? I don't know. Could it be the Genesis device and control box? I would say yes. This is Triple Fiction Productions' version of the Genesis device and their controls, which 
were released on Black Friday to a limited edition amount. Uh, at this point, I don't know if they have any more, but hey, you never know. They, they tend to sometimes do surprise releases again, yeah. so they might have a second chance at getting this. But yeah, just for the sake of comparison, I wanted to show you guys what a more modern incarnation of this looks like. And you can see here, you know, this is what Kong comes with. It's pretty significantly smaller yes. and uh, a little bit less detailed in some ways. And especially this torpedo here, that's very, very small, comparatively speaking. Yeah, I will say, though, where they lack in height, they do make up for in detail. There's some really great detail. For sure. I mean, if I'm going to pick, you know, if I'm going to have to choose, I'm going to go with Triple Fiction Productions. No, no contest. But I like that they were trying. You know, yeah. there's some really good stuff there. No, I agree. As far as what they gave us, I think they gave us, like, the perfect accessories for Khan. Yeah. Like, these are the signature things. It sucks that we're missing that eel holder because that is, again, one of the signature accessories. Yeah. But we've got a phaser. We've got the ball of eels. We've got the Genesis device and the torpedo. I mean, what else do you need? Check off to get something put in his ear? Yes. Okay. That's yes. about it. Yeah. So outside of any worms you can find outside your backyard, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I think this is like a perfect ten of a figure. I, Yeah, I think I'm going to agree with you. This is definitely one of the best figures that they've had. I just recommend that if you want to get one of these for your collection, make sure it's got the eel holder. Yeah. Don't do what we did. So that's our look at Khan from the Star Trek movie series figures from Playmates 1995. Pretty strong line, and I hope we look yeah. at more figures from them fairly soon. Yeah, and then with that, I'm Captain Andrea. I'm Commander Matthew, and until next time, live long and buy toys.